Good afternoon, families of the Gilmore. It's Miss O'Brien, right here from her own kitchen. I'm sure by now you've gotten the superintendent's message as well as the governor's message that school will return to remote learning through June 24th. That brings us to our last day of school. So although we won't be returning to school in the brick and mortar fashion, we will continue our remote learning. You've heard from many of your teachers over the last few weeks, you've heard from me, and you've also seen all of the resources posted on www.bpsma.org as well as www.gilmorehawks.weebly.com. We're going to make our best efforts to share with you a number of enrichment activities to get you through this vacation week, but then extend learning until June 24th in the ways that you very much have had experience with in the last few days. Never hesitate to reach out to me at 508-580-7685 and it will ring to a cell phone right to me so that you may ask any questions and get any answers and resources in order to support you over the next two and a half months. Today is actually Earth Day, April 22nd. So we're gonna do a little experiment today to hopefully celebrate Earth and also what brings us more thoughts of spring than birds. So we're gonna make a birdhouse or bird feeder. Here's what you need. Any type of empty container, you can use a water bottle, a milk carton, you can use the roll to a toilet paper roll or a tissue paper roll, you can use a container from fruit, you can use an egg carton, but Miss O'Brien didn't have one, or any other type of bottle. A plastic or cardboard bottle is going to work best so that it will withstand the weather. What you want to do is start by gathering some different materials. Any type of a nut butter, a coconut oil, or Crisco or lard, like the frozen um, remains after you cook bacon, will also work. You want to get any type of seeds that you have laying around the house. Miss O'Brien has um, flax seed. I have some chia seeds. I have flaxseed meal, which is more like a soft powder or flour. Sunflower seeds would work. Or also, I have some cracked wheat called bulga. Okay. What I did was I just put some all in a bowl here on a paper plate of some sort like this. Then what I'm going to do, and I'm going to use what many of you most likely have in your house, and that's a toilet paper roll. I took all of the extra toilet paper off after my roll was done being used. Then what I wanna do is I wanna take my nut butter with my spoon and I'm just gonna spoon really thinly, almost like you're making your own sandwich. This creates a very sticky solution that birds really like as well as other animals like squirrels or things like that. Although we don't want squirrels to visit our bird feeder, we really want it to be the birds, but we'll see what we can do. Okay, so I'm going to make all of that and do the best I can. It doesn't have to be perfect, just a nice layer. Some of you might remember doing something like this with frosting during the holiday season when you made gingerbread houses using an old milk carton. You can use a milk carton too. So after I do that, I want to take it and I'm going to roll it really nicely. Wow, Miss O'Brien makes quite a mess. In my nut mixture, make sure I smear it all around like that. And then let all the extra nuts fall off. I'm going to rinse my hands, stand by. feeder like this and then I'm gonna find a way to tie it like a knot 
You can knot it, you can form a bow tie. Just like this. And then I'm gonna find a spot to hang it outside where it's a little bit high, it can go on a tree branch. I actually have a hook on my garage that's supposed to have a flag in it. So before I put the flag on, I'm gonna slip this through and hang it right there. And then I can see the birds fly. The other option is to make a bird house. And a way I might do that either using a bottle or using a box is I'm gonna cut a hole in the little house of the milk carton. So when I might need to ask an adult for help, I just pierce a hole in it with a sharp object like these safe student scissors. I cut a, a square on two sides, two of the same side, um, the sides facing each other like this. Just like this. And if I had markers and crayons or paint, even tissue paper, I could decorate the box. But Miss O'Brien is just gonna leave it right like this. Again, I'm gonna use my peanut butter. I'm gonna smear it on the bottom floor of my box, just like this. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my nut mixture and I'm gonna put it right inside. I just accidentally spilt some nuts on the floor and Tucker is totally excited about it. He just dove to get some. And then here is my bird feeder as a bird house and then I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm going to take my string. Oh, there he goes. He's barking at the neighbors. Ay, 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 that Tucker. All right. Then I'm going to put my string through the same way. Tie a knot. And then hang my bird feeder outside. And this is a great way to celebrate Earth Day and all of Earth's wonderful creatures. And then you can look out the window and you can get started on a science journal. You could write how you created it following my simple steps. You could tell me what objects you used and this is a great way to also celebrate the Earth by recycling objects rather than just filling landfills. And then what you can do is you can send Miss O'Brien a message to her email address or connect with your teachers on Remind, and you can take a picture and show it to us. You can contact us following www.gilmorehawks.weebly.com, that's our school website, and that will link you to all of the other links in the Brockton Public Schools, including our social media pages, which are on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, at Hunt Hawk Talk. We've had this since we were the Huntington, you can go to bpsma.org and you can locate any of your teacher's email addresses as well as mine and send me an email or send me a picture of all of your great work. You may also contact us at bpsma.org and you can find us as the Gilmore Elementary on YouTube, on Facebook, and just Google search us and all of our websites will show up. Boys and girls, stay active during this vacation. Be sure that you are continuing to connect with your teachers. And if you go outside, thanks to Chloe Chaya, I will be wearing my mask and I'll be sure to wear gloves to keep myself protected from others that may have germs and also protect my germs from spreading to somebody else. Boys and girls, have a great day, Hawks, and we'll see you soaring around the city.